We have a question from Dale. I have a question, a question regarding the hook grip for training the Olympic lifts. On danjohn.net, you have a short blog post, uh, an article on hooking, in which you mentioned reading Tommy Kono's book has caused you to change your th thinking from, by the way, he's a guy who taught me to hook grip and then later told me to use standard grip sometimes, uh, all the time to alternate reps with and without the hook grip. So this is an Olympic lifting question, so just hang in there, the rest of you. That's the hook grip. Um, be nice to have something I could, oh, I will, I will hook grip my, uh, my tin whistle. So you grab the weightlifting bar like this, and you grab your thumb with it. Tommy's point is you should do both in training and maybe even do a few sets of snatches or cleans with your thumb here. And then as it goes heavier, you know, uh, uh, work it down. What I've noticed is that I tend to use now, I tend to hook grip the first attempt on a set of three, and then I lose my hook grip on one of the next, if I'm doing a set of three, on one of them. And I used to worry about it, put the weight in the ground, re-grab. Re, re now I just kind of just go with it, okay? Your mileage may vary. Um, I'm wondering if you could elaborate more on what the benefits of not always using the hook grip or your thoughts have on this have just evolved. Yeah, they've changed a little bit. It's, And again, this is, Dale, the number of people on who are listening that care about this conversation is probably just you and me. But um, I I think I think there's for most people who are learning the Olympic lifts, you've got a hook grip because it takes a while to get used to it. Man, I remember, oh my god, my hands hurt so much at night when I first started training with Dick Notmeyer. Um I mean, it, it would wake me up because it ached so hard. It ached here because grabbing that and, of course, the calluses and the, and the burns. And I used to get this huge, like, chest callus from the, the, you know, those barbells just hitting you on the jerks and the, the cleans. And, uh, just, and then it seemed like it just all disappeared. So until you have that hook doesn't bother you at all, you got a hook on every, on every rep. I'm getting a lot of irritation at the base of my left thumb near the webbing in between my thumb and index finger. So I've decided for the time not to use a hook grip on my warm-ups, which I think is fine. But I still use the hook grip once I get the actual lift. I think right there, Dale, I think you just nailed it. In your warm-ups, don't. Uh, your complexes, don't. But once you start doing uh, full squat snatch, full squat clean, do. There's your answer. I hope that helped. Thank you.